Is the future of affordable education thriving in South Africa? How are we going to educate the world, including the poorest of the poor? I'm Bert Ellis with UpArts Report. I'm in Sakane, South Africa, at the African School for Excellence to see how they've redesigned education from the ground up. About 20% of South Africa's government budget is focused on education. It's a priority. But the reality is that doesn't mean equality and opportunity. Most black South Africans go to these government schools, but despite them going to these schools, their literacy and numeracy performance is far below the averages that you see in other African countries that have the same economic status as South Africa. Because of the history of how resources were distributed, even the level or the quality of, of teaching that's happening in the school is still very divided, with obviously the black majority getting the lower end of that. Can I join your group? Uh, we are identifying a problem around our community. Okay. And then we use this opportunities. And your problem was opportunities, right? Lack of opportunities. The reason why we founded AC is that we believe every brain is like muscles and now we needed to figure out how do we create a system within which your brain can come and develop so that you're able to critically solve problems without having to pay money you don't have. The average annual cost of education in the U.S. is $11,841 per student. ASC only cost $800. So the model in a nutshell, each class is split into three different subclasses. First we have a team class which focuses on peer work. I love peer learning. I think that it's the only place to learn as a teenager from another teenager. It then moves to an independent portion where the kids get a chance to work independently. They will then move to a class called Dialogue. Hi. In my previous school, the teacher doesn't care, but here at AC, we're given a chance to think broadly about things, not to just focus on what's given to us, but to go deeper into that. For each one of our classrooms, we have one trained or qualified teacher working with two learning facilitators. So what that means from a financial perspective is that we're only ever paying a teacher salary per se to one person. The education model that we have at ASC is quality, but also scalable. And that's been intentional since our founding. We wanted to prove that this model could work in a resource-constrained environment. And there are resource-constrained environments around the world. If it can work in Sakane, it can work in other places where there are a shortage of trained teachers, where there are infrastructure challenges, and where there are resource constraints due to capital. For more information, visit ase.org.za or check out uprocks.com.